Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has arrived in Washington for a NATO summit. Our Glenn McGregor is on the ground for us. And Glenn, this will be a busy couple of days for the PM. Uh, that's right. Justin Trudeau came here to Washington a bit early before those NATO meetings really begin in earnest. That's because he's using this trip as kind of a, a mini trade mission. He's going to be meeting with U.S. business leaders. He's hosting a reception at the Canadian Embassy. And tomorrow he's going to sit down with top members of Congress, including the Democrat Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, and also with the ranking Republican in the Senate, that's Mitch McConnell. They're going to discuss progress on the USMCA, the NAFTA 2.0 trade agreement. And a big emphasis will be on the green economy and electric vehicle manufacturing, important topic for both countries. The idea here really is to promote the economic ties between Canada and the U.S. and to do it with both congressional Democrats and Republicans alike. Canada would very much like to avoid some of the trade disputes that marked Donald Trump's first term in office. That's increasingly important with polls right now showing Trump kind of emerging as the favorite to win the presidential election in November. Uh, Trudeau could also get some face time, Melissa, with the current president, Joe Biden, when he and other NATO leaders visit the White House uh, later this week. Okay, and Trudeau is expected to get some backlash from other world leaders as Canada still struggles to increase its military spending, Glenn. Yeah, now the NATO summit is mostly going to be focused on Russia's war with Ukraine and the need for members of the alliance to do more, to provide more weapons, uh, more training to Ukrainian troops, which Canada is doing, and providing more money. But yes, Trudeau is going to have to defend his record on military spending. Like all NATO countries, Canada, of course, committed to spending 2% of its gross domestic product, its GDP, on the military. Currently, we're running only around 1.3%, and hitting that 2% target would cost the government an additional $15 billion every year, something the Trudeau government is not likely to do. Other NATO countries, though, including the U.S., are not happy about this. So Trudeau instead is going to have to talk up the other ways Canada contributes to global defense, including its role in the North, which NATO has made a priority in the face of potential aggression, Melissa, from Russia and China in the Arctic. Okay, Glenn, thank you. That is our Glenn McGregor joining us from Washington.